Question one, how do you manage your team? Question two, did you lead a team during the design phase? Question three, how large is your team and what is your role in it? Question four, what do you do if someone on your team is underperforming? Question five, what will you do if after communicating the person continues to underperform? Question six, what safety factors did you incorporate into your design? Question seven, what safety related laws exist in Hong Kong? Question eight, how would you mitigate losses in the event of a typhoon? Question nine, have you considered the impact of earthquakes in your design? Question 10, based on your resume, you mentioned that you provided a new scheme for safety. Explain it in detail. How effective is it? Question 11, who proposed this scheme? Question 12, has this scheme been used in other projects before? Question 13, how can you ensure this scheme will remain safe in the long term? If your company shuts down in the future, who will take responsibility for the scheme? Question 14. What forms of contracts are you aware of and which one have you used? Question 15. How would you allocate and use the funds you receive? Question 16, did you consider other design solutions before settling for the chosen design? Question 17, a series of technical questions were asked about wind tunnel testing and that's because the candidates used wind tunnel testing as a solution to an engineering problem. So what it means is whichever, whichever solution you have chosen, expect a series of questions, not just on how you implemented it, but also on the background knowledge. So they're going to look at first principles. So if you are talking about bending moments or you're talking about elasticity, they'll probably take you to the first principles. What do you know about bending moment? What do you know about Young's modulus of elasticity? So make sure you know your fundamentals. Question 18, how do you ensure that the wind tunnel test results accurately predict real world conditions? So if you're doing simulation, what is the level of confidence? Okay, question 19, why did you choose 24 wind cases instead of 20 or 40 or 50? So in terms of your, your test points, why did you choose to perform that number of tests? Question 20, how was the wind tunnel test con conducted? Question 21, what do the different laws govern? Okay, so if you stated any laws as part of your report, um, it might be the law of motion, Newton law of motion. How is it applied? What does it really mean? 22, what was the model scale? Okay, so if you're working on modeling, um, talk about what scale it was. So were you modeling a building in a ratio one to 400, for instance? So talk about the scale that you used in performing that model. 23, how do you support diversity and inclusion? Provide examples. So this question is almost a guarantee. So you need to provide a very good answer. 24, why do you want to join 
the ICE, so the Institution of Civil Engineers, as a chartered member. This obviously applies to whichever engineering profession you are with. Question 25. Did you consider joining the Hong Kong Institution of Engineers? 26. What seminars have you attended recently? 27. What are your long-term goals? Question 28. How would you help younger engineers? So these are the questions. Feel free to get in contact with us if you require a mock interview to be conducted for you as part of preparations for your professional registration interview. Thank you very much and see you in the next module.